What if someone was bugging you and you could just simply give them the ban hammer? Well, I'm gonna make that a reality because I'm gonna build one. Now actually building one of these is gonna be pretty tricky because we wanna torture them as much as possible. So you know what? Starting off, this thing needs to be absolutely huge. Now it does need to fit in my hand, which would really quickly look very bad, but I have a trick up my sleeve and that is that I can become a giant. And it's not big enough yet. It's not big enough quite yet. There it is, that's about big enough. Yeah, let's just say whenever you get hit by this thing, you're going to be sent to the Shadow Realm. Now, for the banning mechanic, there is a couple things we can do, but the most important thing is that we make their life a living hell. So, for instance, this TNT right here has recently gotten an update. And actually, the most important change is that they crank the heck out of the damage. Pretty much, this now actually does an infinite amount of damage, as in it can literally break anything, including your soul. So, I think I, think if I stand on this... I blow it up, yeah. Okay, well, it's just... Okay, actually, you know what? That was a little bit disappointing. I thought I was just gonna fly to the null zone or something. Oh, here we have a giant metal block. Can I blow this up? Oh my god, yeah. It literally instantly deletes it, which is crazy. But you know what? I think the actual thing that I have in mind is gonna be far worse than just simply dying. Now, one thing I'm actually really curious about is how I could glitch a player into the ground. Because actually, I'm just curious to see what will happen if I drop this on me. Okay, yeah, it's... <laughs> It is exactly like what I thought would happen. The block is slowly moving around, and over time, I would actually get unstuck. But while this is happening, we are definitely stuck in place. And that is where my genius plan comes in. Because if we actually make sure that this thing always keeps pushing the player towards the middle, they can never get out. As you can see right here, every single one of these blocks is slightly rotated, so that way everything is slowly being pulled towards the middle. So if I drop an ice block on here, as you can see, no matter where it is, it's slowly going to get pushed towards the middle. And that is exactly what would also happen to the player. So now I somehow need to incorporate this mechanic with that mechanic. Now there's only one thing left to make sure of, and that is that this thing is insanely heavy, as in literally the heaviest block in the entire game. Actually, titanium is the heaviest block, and I'm gonna take this giant block of titanium, and I'm gonna smash this right on top of there. And you know what? Let's see if this is actually gonna work. So I'm standing underneath of it right now. Drop it, and yep. <laughs> We are absolutely smushed right now. All right, so now that we have a pretty good idea of how we're going to torture the player, I think we just got to build the actual hammer. And actually, I think the most difficult part is going to be the handle because I have a pretty strange idea for it. I actually want it to have to look like it's been bound by leather. You know what? That right there is looking absolutely amazing. Now, all I got to do is just keep duping this and it should be absolutely perfect. Okay, so that is the entire handle done. And all we have left to do is to build the actual hammer and I need that to look absolutely insane. And I think that right there is just about how I want to do the ban text. Okay, so that right there is the letter B done. And honestly, I think this is looking really good so far. I'm going to keep the exact same style up for the other letters, and I think it should look perfect. Okay, so that right there is all the text done. And I think if I delete this stuff... Oh my goodness, dude, that looks so freaking good. And actually, I have a bit of an idea that might make this look even better. So we're going to take this current text, and we're actually going to duplicate it one time. Then we're going to actually make this all pure black. And then we're going to use this to actually make a drop shadow. We're going to put it back in place. And then we're going to just move this ever so slightly down and ever so slightly to the right. Like so. Okay, I think that's good. Oh my god, dude. That, that looks so cool! Okay, now we do want it on the other side, but lucky for us, we have a slightly new tool. And I think we should be able to just mirror this to the other side. At least, I hope. Uh, We're actually... Okay, we actually... <laughs> We actually don't mirror it. We're actually going to have to clone it and just rotate. So get rid of this. Okay, we just take everything here. We're going to clone it and that should be fine. All right, there it is on both sides. And that is just so freaking cool looking. All right, then all we have left is the final details. And this thing is ready to hammer. So with those couple final details added, mainly that now this front part here is actually a little bit slanted, which I think looks way better. I think it's about time that we can figure out exactly how we want to smash people. And one of the things I'm really hoping to do is that maybe I can actually copy the exact exact movements of this sword right here to the ban hammer. Okay, you know what? That right there is actually looking pretty good. Okay, so then we want to glue the hammer to our hand, and I think that should actually work. All right, let's see. Is this going to work? Ah! Hey, wait, this is stuck to my butt. Okay, <laughs> get rid of that. Okay, so this thing is currently having a couple problems with collision. What if I turn off collision on it? Okay. Oh my god, dude. Oh my... <laughs> Dude, that looks amazing! Oh, it doesn't do anything right now, but I think if I grab an actual sword... Yeah, we can actually swing this thing around as an actual band hammer! Band! You are banned! Dude, this is absolutely amazing. Now, you might be noticing that there is something currently stuck 
up my butt. Uh, and actually, we do need that because it's actually going to allow us to ban people. Okay, so we want to take the block that's actually going to ban players and we want to put it over top of our hammer, just like so. And we want our entire hammer to actually have collision disabled, just like so. Actually, I'm going to take this entire thing right here and I'm actually going to make it so we can ban players on both sides of us. So just like so, we're going to mirror it just like that. Perfect. And actually, I think we can make all of this stuff invisible. But before we do that, we actually want to make sure that we can drop the ban hammer we're gonna do with a pole that's gonna go up here off to each side and right here we're gonna place two butter blocks just like that and actually we can make everything right there invisible but not after we place a lever that is gonna go right inside of our body like that yeah i think that is all ready now and actually the reason why we're gonna put this on both sides is because otherwise we would just simply fall over in one direction because it's so freaking heavy okay so this goes invisible. Perfect. Okay, so there you go. And I think with that, we have all of our blocks in place. All right, so now that we're stuck, we're going to place our butter block just like so. And I think we can unanchor everything. Uh, okay, it was actually not stuck to our body. Dang it. Wait, but the hammer is working flawlessly. All right, cool. We're going to just have to reload that. Oh my goodness. We actually have the ban hammer working. <laughs> Dude, look at this. Now, the way we're walking is a little bit strange. I tried to balance everything out perfectly, and it should actually be perfectly balanced right now, but it's definitely still a little bit glitchy. But as you can see, we actually have the hammer in our hand, and we can actually swing it around or do anything we want, actually. We also have our traps in place. I can actually even still fly if I put on wings. Okay, I can barely fly. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh, what is he saying? Check it out. What? Run! <laughs> Come here, boy! Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Hey, guys, you haven't done anything bad, have you? We need to cook, Jesse? What? Legit, I know who this guy is. <laughs> you know what? Three, two, one! And bam them! Oh, my God, wait, why did I fling? Wait, how did it end up on its side? What? That is, like, the one thing it's never supposed to be able to do. I think we have to run. Crazy. <laughs> oh, dude, I will come for these guys. You're not ready. I do tax fraud. Tax fraud! Uh-oh. Dude, this guy needs to be banned. Let me quickly grab a new hammer. Uh, I, 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 I might have broken the first one on accident. I think it's because I jumped as I clicked the button. Uh, that is not really what I was supposed to do. Let me grab a new hammer. The last one went kaput. Oh, I might have... I may, Maybe I shouldn't have given them that warning. Um... I think they're going to try to run. Hallelujah. You know, this time around, I'll make sure to definitely get them under my box. Oh, he's definitely under it. I think I'm going to drop it. Oh, they're coming over. Oh, they're coming over. And a ban. I got one. <laughs> I banned him. What? Bada bam, baby. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, is he actually stuck, though? I think he's actually stuck. I don't think there is anything he can do to get himself unstuck. Why is there a switch on your back? Uh, don't worry about the switch on my back. Uh, look at the giant bat hammer in my hand. You want to find out why? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're going to shoot me with a cannon. Wait, that could actually break my hammer. No, I can't climb the wall. I'm too fat. And I'm dead. Great. Thank you, guys. 